everybody! So today's a video that I've actually been wanting to do for a really really long time but just kind of wanted everything to be organized and together and just look nice I guess basically. So today I'm going to be doing my nail polish collection video. Um, like I said I've been wanting to do this for a really really long time just didn't have everything like organized and nice looking. And finally now I do and it's looking great. Um, so some disclaimers. Obviously I have a lot of nail polish, well kind of. I feel like some people have a heck of a lot lot more than what I do, um, but I do have two racks full of nail polish so I guess that some people consider that to be a lot. I don't really but you know what I mean. Um, I did obviously did not buy this all at once, it's throughout like years and years of collecting nail polish um, so don't like freak out about that or anything um, and I think that's pretty much it uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video and we will get into the polish collection okay so this is where my nail polish racks are you guys can see my stuffed animals all at the bottom there there's a mirror I'm going to try not to look at the mirror because I look horrible today um, but you can see there on the one side there's a rack and then on this side there's another rack there and I will get closer and show you everything that is in my nail polish collection so here is one rack here. This is on the right side. This actually used to be a closet. Um, obviously this room that I'm in is, used to be a bedroom. So there is a closet here that I have taken the door off of painted white and put these nail polish racks in here and a nice long mirror and everything else. All right, so starting with the top rack here, these two racks are all Avon and I will start off at the top here. So this first one is kind of a green glittery. It is called Honeydew Dazel. Um, the next one is called Illusion. The next one is called Aqua Fantasy. The next one is Jade. Um, and then Vintage Blue. And then um, we've got Blue Water, Lagoon, Blue Escape. And then moving to the end there, we've got uh, Cosmic Blue and Licorice. Um, so that is the top row. The second row is Pastel Pink, um, ap Apricot Mystery, Fuchsia Fun, Hot Pants, which is actually my favorite summer color. It's a nice bright um, corally pink and it's actually not even showing completely well on camera. It's a lot brighter than what it's showing. Um, the next one is called Electric as well as it is a hot purple so it's not showing up what it's supposed to look like on camera. The next two are the mosaic black and white from Avon. The next ones are two nail art uh, enamel like stripers. Obviously one in white, one in black. The white one is actually called um, Delicate White and the black is called Black Drama. And then these four little mini guys here actually came in a little set from Avon. Um, and they are all kind of like metal glittery shimmery colors. Um, first one is Blushing Star. Second one is Mystique. The third one is Starry Sky. And the last one is Golden Vision. I am going to try and keep this camera st as still as I can. I just realized I moved and you probably couldn't see the last little bit there. But I'm doing my very best to hold this still. Okay, then we're moving into my e.l.f. collection, which is just this shelf here. Um, the first one there is called Mint Cream. The second one is uh, Teal Blue. Third is Skinny Jeans. Next is Sea Escape. Next after that is Fire Coral. And the next one after that is Liquid Metal. These two in the middle here are actually both no names. Uh, they were given to me by... Um, Glamour with Grace um, in a swap that me and her did and they don't have names on them but the first one is like a glittery uh, blackish green and the next one is a bluish blackish uh, glitter. I think I said green. Yeah, green and blue glitters. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, and these last five are minis and they came from a like cube set that you can get from e.l.f. Um, there's also a couple more in the shelf behind me. Um, uh, I actually kept half and shared the other half with my mom. So the first mini is uh, Lavender Mist. The second mini is Metallic Elegance. The third is Flirty Fuchsia. The next is Mango Madness. And the last one, the yellow one, is Sunflower. So all very pretty colors. I love e.l.f. colors, <clears throat> um, nail polishes. And I like to sometimes just pick up minis um, just because nail polish does last a really long time and although I can fix like goopy nail polishes from time to time 
it's just better to have the mini sometimes. I don't know, just the way I feel. All right, then the second row here is my julep collection. Um, there are more juleps behind me and you'll understand why in a little bit when I get through the shelf. So the first julep is uh, Isla. It's like a shimmery white. Um, the next one is Kate and then Jessica. Gunta, which is my favorite fall uh, nail polish to wear. It is from the Trina Turk Fall 2012 collection and I absolutely love that blue. It's like the perfect fall blue. I love it. The next one is uh, Eloise. Then the next one is Piper. Then Daphne. Then Parker. Then Mandy. And then Caroline. All beautiful colors. I love Julep. Um, obviously I have a lot of Julep. Well, not a ton, but I have quite a bit because I had the Julep um, subscription box. Um, obviously I, I can link some of the... Maybe I'll link the first video that I did of Julep um, down below if you guys want to check out that subscription box. when I That was actually the first subscription box I ever did on my channel. So uh, that was pretty cool. And I obviously I love nail polish. Alright, the last shelf, or actually second last shelf, is all Sally Hansen. As you can see, the first Sally Hansen color there is called Blue It. The next is Blue Me Away. Then it is Mint Short Sorbet, and that's actually the color I just put on my nails today, and I love it. It's actually one of my newest colors in my collection, and I love that color a lot. Um, the next one is Coral Reef, and then Crushed, and then Pixel Perfect and then White On, which is the white. Or well, the Pixel Perfect too is also a new one from my collection and it is that like, um, like almost like splattered black and white paint and it's really cool. I actually haven't used it yet but it is fairly new to my collection. Um, and then the next one's here. Um, that one that's in the square container is from the Smooth and Perfect collection um, and it is called Air. And then the last four here are the Insta Dry Sally Hansons and they are uh, Mint Spe sorry, Mint Spe Brint, which is actually the color I wore for my wedding. That was the closest nail polish color I could find to our color, and trust me, it was hard. Um, the next one is Lightning, then Rapid Red, and then Hard Lemonade is that ye light yellow there. Um, so yeah, again, love Sally Hansen, actually. Sally Hansen and Avon, I think, are my two favorite nail polish companies. Um, I love, love, love the brush on the Sally Hansen uh, nail polishes. Um, I just feel like it fits my fingertip, like my fingernails, like really, really well and uh, I find it just coats my nails perfectly. Alright, then the last row in this shelf is mostly Essie. Um, the first Essie is Mint Candy Apple, which is my absolute favorite spring uh, nail polish color to wear. I absolutely love that color. And as you go through my collection too, you'll notice I love blues and greens to wear on my nails. They are my favorite two colors to wear on my nails. Um, so you'll see a lot of those two colors in my collection. But I love Mint Candy Apple for spring. The next one is Mojito Madness, then Stylenomics, which is a like dark, dark, green it's not it looks almost i guess it looks kind of green on the camera but it's almost almost black but it's not it's like a forest green and then the next one is uh bikini so teeny and then saint uh i can never say this one so bear with me it is the like lilac -y color there it's like saint um lucia lilac i believe is how you pronounce it i always mess it up um the next one is bouncer it's me and then raspberry and then wrapped in rubies and the wrapped in rubies is a really great fall color as well it's like a reddish burnt orange type color and then next to those two um i have only well actually i actually have two sinful colors uh, but i've just recently been getting into the sinful colors as um target actually sells them um, and I actually just needed a white, so I had picked this Sinful Colors White up, and this Sinful Colors White is called Snow Me White. And then that little guy in the very corner there, Little Snowman, is actually called Golden Tinsel. He is from Avon. Oh, I'm sorry. Shaky, shaky. And he's, uh, like chunky gold glitter nail polish, but I think he's so cute, Little Snowman. A girl at my work last year for Christmas actually gave me that. All right, and then in this shelf over here is pretty well all of my glitters. Um, the At least the top 
three shelves or, or no three two shelves top two and a half I guess shelves are glitters and then there's OPI and China glaze and then some randoms and some stripers and I'll get to the bottom two and uh when I get there all right so the top shelf here um, as you can see is pretty well um, like color coordinated obviously not brand um, I guess not put together in brands it's mostly color coordinated um, so the top has got the blues and the greens and the kind of like blackish purples um, so the first one there the julep one is called Carly the second one is Sally Hansen diamond strength um, the no chip nail color and it's called uh, tender teal the SE is called lots of Lux. the julep is called Ivy the um, Deborah Lipman one, which is the only Deborah Lipman I own, and I believe I got that either in a top box or in an Ipsy bag, I can't remember which one. Um, and that's called Ray of Light. The next one is a Julep one, and it is called Harper, and the next one next to it is also a Julep one, and it is called Colby. The next one there is, um, I don't remember the name, the company name of this one, let me just check it. Um, it is from the Dury Cosmetics Incorporated. Um, it is like this really cool like stripey glitter nail polish. I got this actually off of Hot Look um, and it is called um, Indulge My Whim. It's just really neat, really unique. Um, it's like, like I said, it's glitter but it's like lines, like stripes almost. It's really cool and I thought that was neat and I got a really good deal off of Hot Look from that or with that or whatever you want to call it. Um, the next one is called Winter Holly and it is a, I think that's a China glaze, right? Yes, it's a China glaze, it's from their winter collection. I'm not sure what year. Um, the next one there is a Sally Hansen Gem Crush. Yes, Gem Crush and it is called uh, Showgirl Chic. It is one of my favorite winter uh, nail polishes to wear because it just kind of like it reminds me of like wintery, like icy type of thing. So it's really pretty for winter. Uh, the next one is called Jordan. And yes, I have a nail polish that is the same name as my brother. Um, the next one is Sparkling Sky by Avon. And the last one there is also Avon and it is called Soft Velvet. Then we move into the next shelf here. First one in the next shelf here, <clears throat> excuse me. It's called Dare to Dazzle. That I believe I got in a top box as well. Um, it is by Kukio Color. I've never really heard of that, but this nail polish is actually one of my favorite gold nail polishes to wear. It's not like a glitter. It's more of a like um, gold fleck. Um, if you guys are crafty, you'll know what that is. It's just like a very thin gold paper that you decorate things with um, yeah the next one is an Avon one and it is called sparkling gold the next one is a elf one it is one of the minis and it is called gold star the next one is a julep and it's called Vivian the next one is an Avon and it is called sparkling red and my arm is getting really really sore guys I'm sorry um, I'm just gonna move a little bit closer for you guys the next one is an elf one if I'm right, yes, and it is called Dream Maker. The next one is a Julep and it is called Mila. The next one is a mini elf one and it is called Gashik Confetti. It's like a multicolored confetti or multicolored glitter. The next one is one of my favorites as well. It is called Old Canada. Obviously, I wear that at Canada Day all the time. It's like red and white glittery heaven. <laughs> the next one is called Radiant by Revlon, um, which is actually a recommendation by Ingrid, as well as the next one. It is China Glaze and it is called Snow Globe. The last two there, which I had to actually turn on their side because I was kind of running out of space, are both e.l.f. The first one is called Summer Solstice and that's the one that I've talked about recently actually. It looks very much like this like shimmer in the sand. It's amazing. I love it. You can wear it over like any nail polish. The last one there is called Fairy Dust and it's a clear top coat as well, but it has kind of like a reddish goldish um, glitter in it. All right, then we move down to the bottom, the last two glitters here, which are also very new to my collection and are very jammed into the shelf. Um, they're both Sally Hansen, hard as nails, extreme wear. The tealish bluish one in the back there is called Seeing Stars, like seeing, like the sea. 
and the last, the other one there is red carpet, and it's a red, shimmery, glittery one, and I like it. Alright, then we move into my OPI collection, which, as you can see, isn't very big. Um, I'm not a big fan of OPI. I find that they can be very hit and miss. Sometimes they're nail polish. Nail polishes are very pigmented. Sometimes they're super sheer. You need almost like three or four coats, and I'm not really big on that. Um, but the first one there is called... Thanks a Win Million, and I do believe that's from the Holland collection. The second one is called Just Spotted the Lizard, which is from the Spider-Man collection, and I absolutely love that color or that nail polish. Um, it's also a great fall one. <laughs> the next one is Don't Burst My Bubble. It's a very sheer, sheer, super sheer light pink. The la uh, next one to that is called Every Month is Oktoberfest. Again, a very awesome fall color, um, but the main reason I got that is because back in my hometown, um, Oktoberfest is huge, and so I thought that was like a really kind of cute name. Um, the next one there is the Nicole by OPI, and it is called On What Grounds, and it's from the Ruffless collection, so it's like a stone. Um, almost like a hard rock, if you know what that is. I work at a hardware store, so a hard rock is something you put on like your decks or your like patios or whatever, and it makes it kind of like stone looking and feeling. So I, that's what I kind of feel like that's very much like. But it's really pretty. I love the blue, and it's cool. Um, the next one is Chloe had a little lamb lamb. Not too sure what up with the name, um, but I love that color. I have not worn it yet, but it'll definitely be an amazing fall color. It's like a dark teal, and I love it a lot. And then the last three there are China Glaze. Again, China Glaze I find to be, again, very hit and miss. I find actually all three of those are super, super sheer. Um, like you need like four or five coats to get a good pigmented color and um so i'm not a huge fan of china glaze i i don't mind their like glitter top coats and stuff like that but not so much their solid colors but anyways the first one there is called refreshment then the second one is keeping it teal and the last one is red satin all right then we move into this uh shelf here which is kind of my random shelf it's got like all my little bits and pieces of different companies on it. Alright, so the first two there, um, the first one actually is my very first green nail polish, I guess, that I ever bought for my nail polish collection. I've had it for a really, really long time. Like, I'm thinking, like, grade six, maybe? I don't know. I've had it for a really, really long time. This that next one, next, the one next would have had it, it um, a lot less than the green one, but yeah, the green one was my, like, very first green to ever be bought for my collection. Um, and those are both Rimmel London's, the uh, 60 Seconds nail polish. The green one is called Camouflage, and the blue one, is, or the blue and greeny one, is called Green with Envy. The one next to that um, was also one of my very first green nail polishes. I think I got maybe got them both at the same time. I picked up the green nail polish because it was St. Patrick's Day and I needed green nail polish for that day. So both of those I'm pretty sure were like my first ever green nail polishes to ever be bought. The, and then the NYC one might be my first nail polish ever. I'm not even sure. I But I'm pretty sure I bought them both at around the same time. And that NYC one actually does not have a name, but it is just kind of like an emerald green shimmery color. And then next to that is a Claire's Cosmetics uh, nail polish. Um, it's more of a kiddish nail polish, but I really, really love that bright blue that it has. Um, it, but it's super sheer, like you literally need so many coats to get it to be super pigmented. I guess that's why it's like a kid's nail polish, but I just like drew to the blue um, and I love it. Um, and it actually has a name and it is called True Blue. The next one there is the Sally Hansen Magnetic one and I actually haven't even used that. I've had that for like probably a year and I haven't ever used it but I thought it was really cool and my husband I think bought it for me for Christmas or something because I was like begging him because I wanted it and then I never used it. <laughs> I probably will eventually um, but it is called Ironic Indigo. And then the next one is my only Butter London nail polish. Reason for that is because I find Butter London to be extremely expensive, um, but I had to have this color. This is called Knackered, and it is my absolute favorite nail Butter London nail polish. 
and it's like a purpley, bluey, shimmery, glittery, everything color, and I love it. Um, also recommended by Ingrid, um, but I just can't get enough of that color. I love it. I've worn that quite a bit. And the one next to that also goes with that greeny, um, stripey, glittery nail polish that was at the top of the rack. Um, and it is, it doesn't actually have a name because the sticker fell off of it, but it's like a deep blackish reddish color and also a great fall color. It's pretty cool. It's actually very close to that OPI, which is the uh, Oktoberfest one. It's very close to that. Um, I think I may have bought this one before I bought that one, but anyways, it's very close to that, And it, but it doesn't have a name. The sticker fell off. And the last five here on this shelf are all stripers, and um, I bought these off of eBay. Um, I bought them really cheaply, but they're actually amazing stripers. Um, they have a very, very fine paintbrush striper brush thing and they're very accurate and I actually used the two last ones there in my like basic nail tutorial uh, back when I first started YouTube I don't know if it's like my fifth or sixth video on there I can link it down below if you would like to see that and they're all amazing um, the only thing is that I actually recently went back to see if I can get more and the person that I got these from no longer sells them. So that kind of sucks. If you know of anyone who does sell on either, either eBay or just like a cheap nail polish site or something like that that sells the nail to toe stripers, I would love to know because I love these stripers and I, I've used them quite a bit but they're very accurate and very awesome nail polish. It's very pigmented nail polish as well. All right. And oh, actually, they all have names. Let me let me tell you what those are. The first one is called Moon Frost. The second one is called Retro Silver. The third is Garden of KC. And the two hot ones, um, hot bright neon ones. The pink one is called Popping Pink, and the yellow one is called Funky Yellow. And they are awesome. All right, and then we're moving into um second last shelf here. The first couple nail polishes are all of my Halloween collection nail polishes. If you guys follow me and have been following me for a long time. I love Halloween, always have, so uh, of course I would have a Halloween collection of nail polish. Um, the first one there is actually just a glow-in-the-dark nail polish and it works pretty well. Um, I think I just bought it at like Walmart. You can see it always in the Halloween section in the Wal at Walmarts or Targets or whatever. I don't know if Target sells it actually or not, but it's actually pretty good to go in the dark nail polish and it's great for Halloween. And then the second one there is a, is a julep nail polish and it is a like Halloween orange is like what I like to call it. Crackle. Um, its actual name is called Sabrina, um, but it is a cool Halloween orange crackle nail polish. It makes it look really cool. It actually looks really nice over a black, like a solid black nail polish because it's kind of a shimmery nail polish. And the second one there is an Avon one, or actually it's the third one. It is an Avon one. It is also a kind of rustic-y nail polish or, or orange I guess, yes. <laughs> it's called Lucky Penny. Um, you guys, if you know what a penny is, if you're from Canada, um, it looks very much like the penny, uh, although that's been discontinued now pretty much. They've completely got rid of the penny, I believe. Um, but that's like the color of a penny, but it's like a perfect like Halloween orange. I love it. The, the fourth one there is also a Halloween orange, but it is more of a shimmer, where the first one, I don't know, they're very different though. The first one's kind of a brightish, orange where the third one there or the whatever the other orange one that is julep is like a deeper like more rustic orange um but they're both basically shimmers i guess and that julep one is called zoe the one next to that is sinful colors and it is a black and orange glitter nail polish i love it for halloween it is awesome and it is called black magic and i love the name uh, the last one there is a wet and wild nail polish that i found just at our drugstore here which don't i don't know why um I've never seen Wet n Wild like ever in Canada, at least not where I live. Um, so I don't know why Wet n Wild was there, but anyways, it was. And I love the R.I.P. Um, like tombstone for the brush handle. It's super cool, and it actually feels like stone. It's really cool. Um, it is, but it is fantasy. So it's Fantasy Makers, and it is by Wet n Wild, and it is called Once Upon a Time, and it is really cool. It's like a black nail polish with like fine and chunky red glitter, and it. it's really awesome. Then the last part of this shelf is all of my top coats and base coats. So the first one is an Avon Nail Experts UV Gloss Guard. Um, it's good. It's not a great 
top coat, but it is good. The second one is the Essie um, Good To Go, and it's actually, it's a good top coat, but currently it is getting goopy on me, so I have to fix that one. The next one there is actually my favorite top coat ever. Um, it is the um, No Chip Ahead, and it is like literally instantly drying, and it, is, it makes my nails last forever. Where I work, I am pretty rough on my fingers, so it actually really keeps them on, my nail polish on for a really long time, and I love it. The last three there are all base coats, so the first one is, actually no, that's a lie. The first julep one there is a top coat, but it's a matte top coat. Then the next one is a base coat, and it is the julep um, therapy, therapy base coat, I guess. It's actually a really, really good uh, base coat, but my favorite one is the last one there, and I have it turned around so you can't even read the label, uh, but it's an Essie uh, Grow Stronger um, base coat. Um, it, Literally, I don't get any yellowing when I wear that, and it is super amazing. It does help my nails grow. It also keeps them a little bit harder, too, when I wear that one than others, um, so I really like that. All right, the last shelf here is all um, nail strips. I have some Avon and some OP OPI ones. Um, I don't use nail strips that often, but I thought I would try them one day so I picked those up and I have used them just not very often and then the last four things here of the uh, Revlon duos the first one here is a black and a white um, I, I think the white has a color name but I don't really know what it is and I don't feel like pulling it up <laughs> the, this one here is the Revlon nail art moon candy um, it has a, like a deep purpley black on this side which I'm not even showing. And then this side, which is really, really pretty, is like a, almost like crystals, but it's like a glitter and it's bluish greenish. And it is called Galactic. And the other two here, this one here isn't anything too fancy. It's uh, from the Neon uh, Duo collection and it is a blue and a white. And then this one back here is actually the Revlon um, chalk collection. So it's like a chalky matte um, green color and a black color. And I think the green color has a name. What is it called? Spring Break is what the green is called. So there you go. All right, and those just all fell on the floor. <laughs> all right, so that is my nail polish collection. I almost forgot these guys. Um, I put these over here specifically so I would talk about them. So this right here, um, there's a story behind why I have this. When I was younger, I was actually like grade six, I was in the Wizard of Oz play. Um, it was in a big theater where I'm from. Um, obviously not the actual movie, it was just a play that my school was, um, casted for I guess basically and I was a munchkin it was really really fun it was amazing so when the Wizard of Oz had their 75th anniversary uh, Julep came out with this collection and I love it um, so as you can see it's got like Dorothy Tin Man and Glinda on the front and on the back is like Emerald City and the four characters there at the bottom heading to Emerald City and you open it up and there's Emerald City on the inside of the flap there and then there's the four nail polishes so the first one is ruby slippers and it is a glitter then there's tin man which is a holographic and then there is glinda the good witch which is a frost and then the last one is emerald city and it is a cream um the only one i've actually used so far is glinda the witch and it is a really nice consistency um so they're all really great and i love that collection and then of course the um, a most amazing part of my nail polish collection and I use these a lot to the point where I'm surprised I haven't run out of them yet. Um, these are the Isgo nail design um, pens and they this is the solid collection and this is the glitter collection and I use both of these a lot like a ton. They are like a lifesaver when it comes to doing details on your fingers and I love them. And just a little sneak peek here. I bought these at Target and although they look like nail polishes, they actually aren't. If you haven't already gotten these, these are the cutest thing. If you are a nail polish freak, you will love this. It's actually a highlighter. Is that not the coolest thing in the world? I saw these and was like, it's happening. I don't even go to school anymore and I rarely highlight anything, but I was just like, that is the cutest thing in the world. So yeah, it, it comes also like with the lid and then you put it on the top of it. 
and it looks like a nail polish. I thought that was so cute, so I wanted to show those to you. All right, so that is my nail polish collection. My nail polish collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know that it is a fairly requested video in general on YouTube, so I'm always I'm excited to share it with you guys and show you what colors are like and what my favorites are and stuff like that for each season. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you do your nail polish collection and a video, please let me know the link to it in the comments below, as well as if you have have favorites for each season you can let me know those two in the comments below I'd love to know them because I'm always out to look for new nail polish as usual I'm kind of a nail polish addict I will honestly admit that um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys all in the next one bye